the uh, April Park and Tree Committee meeting. Uh, we start off by doing a Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Yeah. Okay. We'll move on to a roll call. I know. Present. 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 Here. All right. Now people can hear me. Uh, time reports, if anybody has any, make sure you email those to Angela so that we get a hard copy of the record of it. Um, please look over the meeting minutes from the previous meeting. Oh wait, excuse me for a second. Her doesn't go on. Maybe that was intentional. <laughs> We appreciate you dealing with this new setup. There's other meetings going on this week, and so we decided just not to move it back <laughs> for the time. Too much furniture moving, so it all works. We fit all, all of us in, so. Oh, yeah, not me. it was Shreves and Trask. Yeah. So. Yeah, just one change on the boat ramp visitation was Shreves and Trask. Not, not me. It says Shreves and Dalton. It was. Where's that at? It's down under new business. New business. The, yep. The North Side Park North Side temporary Park. boat ramp. <clears throat> Bob wouldn't be seen in public with me. So. I, and I, I didn't want to take Dave's. No, I don't want my name on there anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I want to make sure he gets credit. You see it? Yeah. It should be Shreves and Trask under the Northside Park temporary boat ramp. Oh, right here. Yep. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it shows we actually looked at them. Yeah. <laughs> then minus that change, if you can get a motion to approve. I so move and I second. Meeting minutes approved. All in favor <laughs> say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. They're still approved. <laughs> and public comments, and I do believe we have somebody going to. We're going to address um, that at our round table. OK, so I didn't know because it needed to go right away or not. So no. nope. OK, sounds awesome. We should cover the uh, budget. Anybody here that knows anything about the budget? <laughs> nope, no, I think I think they stayed home today. Uh, in your packets and then unfortunately, I don't know what page, um, but it it has something that looks a lot like numbers. Um, <clears throat> you'll find your budget report uh, through the end of March. Uh, which means we are officially three quarters through the year. Don't ask me how that happened, um, but the end of the fiscal year is coming fast. Um, 
there's not much to report really uh it looks like public works and and the parks have uh i won't say underspent uh but we are currently lower than one would anticipate when three quarters through the year um you can see down at the bottom of the first page of the report uh that it's that as far as materials and services is concerned we've expended about 57 percent of their overall budget um, if you flip to that second page that's where we find our capital um, and public works has spent almost forty thousand of a of an initial one hundred and forty four thousand dollar capital budget. Um, a lot of that due to the fact that most of the work at Sankey Park is coming to a swift close, um, which I think we're all happy about. Um, but with that said, if if there are kind of last minute items that need to squeeze in before the end of the fiscal year, there's certainly some flexibility for them, um, and we're sitting in a good spot. Hey. And I'll happily answer any questions if you have them. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to come up with anything that quick. Has all the billing happened for Sankey? I mean, is that? Billing and expense paid and I think we have a couple. I think we probably have two of the credit card uh, months that are still processing through the system, but a majority of expenses for the park. Yes, okay. I would say anything left on the credit card is minor yeah. if there is anything. So we're good then for our grant because we have to do a closure on it. So Brandon and I are working on the final report. It's due at the end of this month. And <clears> so we are actually working on that right now and getting that put together and then we will be done with it. So. In that final report, do we do anything with the group that granted us the grant? Nope. Um, well, once we get done, we can invite them to come out. And if they want to come out, then we can maybe show them. Um, I know a couple of them were interested um, yeah. when we got done to come take a look at it. So um, once we get the final report in and we get the approval that it's done and they send us a second part of the money, um, we can send out a note to them and say, hey, you know, this is done. Do you want to come? I mean, let's wait till the rainy season's over so it's prettier. But yeah. Um, but yeah, invite them out and maybe give them a little bit of a tour. So um, that is an option and they a few of them did discuss interest in that. I just wonder <clears throat> if we should tie that in with an event so they see a major event going on like the Harvest Festival or something. You know, so they see how the yeah. park is actually used, but it would actually be a high usage day. They wouldn't. Get, well, yeah, and that's up to you guys. I was going to say they wouldn't really get to see the amenities because the park is so full during Harvest Festival, yeah. but um, we can well, think of something. We can kind of. I mean, they're going to see the playgrounds and the sidewalks and the True. lighting and, yeah. and all that, which is what we put in with the grant. So, yeah. and then if, you, if they see it full of people. Yeah, I mean, that's just a thought on my part because I would like to see them really appreciate the money that was spent because we might want more and i'd like them to remember it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah once we get the grant done i'll re i'll reach out to them and see okay. try to see what they can we can schedule and that's far enough out that that yeah. might be easier to schedule that so right anybody else have a thought on that I would just add that future applications we want to report what we've done with money in the past and so in future applications we definitely want to include those those pictures and uh, those experiences yeah i think one other thing if we're talking about grants we would want to have on groups horizon the next time we can apply for that grant i think it's once a year we have to skip one or something like that so we're working right now um and Blair and I have talked about this a little bit. There's a couple grants that could come our way. The next one, we won't be able to do the one that's due this year, and then it's due, and then it opens up again in 2024. So doing both grants at the same time, they can match each other. And so that would give us a little bit of time. So we would have to start filling in the grant in 2023 so that we can make the deadline by 2024. But that gives us time. and. So one of them is kind of a trails one. There's one I'm doing a webinar today um, about some other grant stuff. So we may be able to loop in the bandstand, the trail structures, the bathroom. If we can 
loop them all together and use them as matches for each other, that's more money. So, you know, we'll sit down and talk about it a little bit more, but um, just some of the, I've been doing a lot of webinars lately about some of these different grants and, and it will be beneficial to us to be able to match them. And, and then that's less ask that we have to ask of the community. Um, I'm One of them, I have to make sure we can use it as a match for the other one. Um, most of the time when I used to work off grants, we were able to do that. So um, we are working on that. Um, what the biggest thing that we need from <clears throat> probably public works and park and tree committee is we need to start actually figuring out exactly what kind of stage we want. What is it going to cost? You know, installation, the stage itself, bathroom, you know, what bathroom we're going to put in stage if we're going to put lights in. So we need to, and this is going to take some time. We need to identify the costs and what the cost of everything are going to be, what the tasks are going to be and what the costs are going to be. Um, once we have that kind of like we did last time, we need to come up with, you know, we'll hire our awesome uh, 3D renderer and come up with some designs. But um, that's the first task is coming up with all of the cost and the exact amenities that we're going to add to this next grant. Um, then we can start working on the grant because um, without that information, I can't move forward. Um, and I think that's going to take us a little bit of time to do so. We want to make sure we do it do it right, just like last time. So, but we are working on multiple grants or looking at multiple grants. One I should add on is um, the the Oregon Parks and Recreation Department has their local government grants, but they have that we already received. But they also have planning grants, um, which I believe the the competition for the planning grants is somewhat less. They're they're mm -hmm. a little bit easier to get. Uh, there still is a 40% match required from from the city, but and they're capped at a lower amount. But because it's a planning type project, usually those are cheaper than a capital project. Um, we are planning on putting we the, before the council at the next council meeting will be a resolution supporting an application for that. The, the, the application is due May 15th. And um, the idea behind that is to have a, a parks master plan update be covered by that grant so that we can have all those things identified, all the improvements that we need system wide and have the public input and have an officially adopted document which serves to support later grants where you mm -hmm. can always have this document say, look, that we're just doing what the public wants. This is identified in this officially adopted thing and it gives it a little bit more credit than we sat in the park on a Saturday and asked questions. Larry, you know, which, is that uh, May of 2022 or 23? Yeah, May 15th of this year is when that that application is due. So we're working on it right now. Sounds great. So can we do the the two grants? Will we be able to? Will we be able to do those before, or do we have to finish the? master plan with all that first I mean, no, they're which not is, which is the horse in the cart uh they're kind of both horses and carts i mean you don't have to they, they don't necessarily depend on each other and they don't conflict with each other you can you can apply for one of the other grants while having a planning grant at the okay. same time ideally we would be done with the plan with if we get the planning grant we would be done with it by the end of or by you know next spring at the yeah. latest and it would be able to be included in an application. OK, so the application for the for the bandstand and the trails would go in in 23 for a 24. It, it would be due. So it's due in 2024. Um, our goal is to by the end of 2023, though, have everything identified so then we can start putting it together, doing, you know, our mm -hmm. to the public and that type right. of thing. So but we need to have everything identified. We may get it done sooner than that, but it's just the one grant is only is um, every other year. Yeah, the parks grant is every year, but I think tying them together is and we yeah. can apply for one earlier than the other and we can put, you know, match funds pending. But then if we don't get the second one, then we have to come up with that. Right. So it's it's better to kind of apply at the same time. And yeah. we have a little bit of a leeway there, understanding that if we don't get one or the other, we have to figure out how to come up with that match. So right. so it gives us and knowing all the expenses first gives us a little bit more 
flexibility to, to plan for that. Yeah, I was just so. trying to figure out if we did the planning grant was submitted in May this year, it's for execution in 23 then, right? By the time it, they go through all their process and you get funded, would be a 23 or would you get well, it this year? We'd get it if this year. if the, the 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 update to the parks master plan, if that if that uh, grant is obtained, that update would be done within a year. Okay. And so but when does it start? That's my point. This year or next year? When do you start start the work on the a work on, on an update? The, master update. Uh, as soon as we get funding, okay. it, it would be it would be something. If we got that grant, we would put out an RFP uh, yeah. for a private firm to do the the work. Right. Well, this year. Yes, this year. As soon as as yeah, basically as soon as we get funding. Uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out when did they well, when, when they approved the grant. They yeah. approved the grant. Oh, it should be sometime this summer when they yeah. approved the okay. grant. Okay. Yeah. So then that could start this year. So by next spring, we would have a good plan for the bandstand and the trails. Theoretically, so that would be the soonest I would say you yeah. would have that. Now, keep in mind that a Parks Master Plan update is is a system wide thing, yeah. and so it's not necessarily going to have specific um, plans for specific parks. Mm -hmm. What it's going to have more is these are your classes of parks. There's a citywide right. park, there's a neighborhood park, and these are the these are the amenities we're going to have in each one. This is how far somebody should have to travel to be able to get to a park. Uh, so that we can identify all the areas that need to have parks added right. and these are the amenities that those things need and so it, if you ha say okay Sankey Park is a citywide class park it needs to have these things mm -hmm. these amenities need to be included and we have that included in the plan that's publicly adopted etc right. then you use it as support as support for those applications in okay. the future. And if anybody wants to see the current master parks plan, um, just let me know. I can send it to you. It is, we have found that it is um, deficient in, the, yeah. on detail. in information. Yeah. Um, so, which is why we want to get um, an updated one. But if anybody wants to see it and read it, I can send it to you sure. or you can get a hard copy. Just let me know. It's on the city website. Okay. Anybody else have any budget items? No? You're good, Dominic. Lots of budget. If I could add one budget note, um, the the budget committee is has started its review process, review and approval process of uh, next year's fiscal next fiscal year's budget. Um, we talked about the general fund yesterday uh, or last night, which includes uh, a majority of the park funds, and then we're wrapping up hopefully tonight um, with the last of our funds, including some additional public works areas. So. If there is any public input that that you would like to deliver to the budget committee, uh, tonight is probably your last chance um, to talk about any of our any of our stuff, really. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case anybody was interested. It's at six o'clock tonight. Here, yes, at these very tables. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's move on to old business beautification committee updates. Yeah, anything Ashley? Uh, okay. Um, I met with uh, Susan Thompson, and uh, they had put in for one of those community grants. They didn't get it, but I think that we have a meeting with uh, Brandon today at one o'clock to talk about that process a little more in depth. Uh, I think really for the committee, it's kind of a learning curve. The beautification group is they know they've got a certain degree of monies that they can work with for the beautification maybe not a clear understanding of how they can utilize that money i think uh, because in the past the reason they put in for the grant was in the past they've always bought their own rakes shovels tools and personal stuff and they thought well maybe we need to go out and get some money so we can replenish what we have and i think that's part of our discussion today with brandon to help educate that process a little bit further yeah. you know, so they understand that that's really all i have okay question i do want to just throw in there about ashley there um they've only had four people so they re, i know you guys have been promoting it but we really need to volunteers get volunteers when so now, is the big planting of the medians is that second tuesday in may coming up in may but okay they've postponed a couple of them yeah need to get some Youth involved out there. See that keyword youth. youth. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys have the date confirmed, um, let me know and I can send out a note okay. to everybody and I'll do that. just let them know. 
they do bring their, all their own tools. Let's say that. So, yeah. Except for their best. Right. Good. You had something? Oh, I, I asked. Oh, done. Big plan. Okay. Indeed. Move on to Arbor Day celebration. I think it's going to happen Saturday. Yep. So um, just <laughs> making sure everybody's aware you're going to pick up trees, right? Yes. Um, we I, have. Where do you want them? I'm picking them up Friday. You want me just to leave them on my trailer and bring them up early Saturday morning? They're 20 feet. <laughs> Three inch is the root ball. It's a 20 foot tree. I don't know how, how big a root ball that is. It's in the it's in the ground. They haven't dug them out. So they're digging them tomorrow and I'll pick them up Friday. Maybe take a picture of the root ball yeah. and send it to these guys because you want to. Oh, I can do that right when I get it. You know, at least two times the size of the root yeah. ball. And if it's burlapped or chicken wire wrapped, we want to make sure we get all that off when we do plan it. They're full grown trees. <laughs> <laughs> They're three inch trees. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Can I give that to you soon, when, right when I get there Friday? I can. I can maybe contact them and find out how big the root ball's going to be. Like, Lots of people. people. So it was expressed that they wanted larger trees. So I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm saying that the swap up there right now, and I'm thinking of logistically how we're going to. I'll do some research on it today because mm -hmm. I already talked to her to find out how long they were. So I'll ask her. Approximately the size of the root ball, and then uh, we can figure out what it weighs from there. So, Wally, you'll contact them? Yeah, I'll get a hold of her. Okay. I've been talking to her this morning already. Okay. I mean, well, yeah, but it's that part of the way. If we have enough people, yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 We're just carrying. Uh, yeah. Like a swamp there, Wally. Not only that, I'll find out how much it. I'll try to pick it up. I think what they're saying is that it's a swamp. Yeah, they could be careful how they can. Yeah. We can. Yeah. 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 Right. So let's start with this. Let's take a picture of it. Got it. Um. Yes. I'll find out. You want them Thursday? Like tomorrow? Possible. Okay. I'll I was, let, I'll let you guys figure that out. My thought process was leaving them alone as long as possible before the replant so that they didn't get destroyed. I guess in my mind, and I apologize, like <clears throat> we did Sinky Park, I had two guys put their fingers up, up under the edge of that 20 gallon bucket or whatever, it was probably a little bigger, but they were able to carry it. Yeah. I'm thinking the trees only kept big around. But it's more about the root ball. It's yeah, I know. Spread out. I don't know what a root ball looks like for that type of tree. I think it's not going to be anything like that crab apple we planted it years ago. Um, I think if we get enough people, I think we can carry them. Yeah, I'm thinking tree right. root ball. Right. They were in twenty gallon pots. Let's let Wally ask some uh, real specific questions and then we can figure out how many people we need to. I think what I'll actually do is today I, I need to go that direction anyway, and I've been trying to find a reason to go towards Albany. <laughs> so it's just before Corvallis. I'll just drive over there. I'll go take a look at things. Surely they have a tree similar with a root ball. Yeah. I can talk to someone, see what it is. 
and I'll send you some messages. The size and weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll go find out today. I got you, but I can carry it. I know we can. Carry it. I'd move some big stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. Get us pictures. So yep. We can start thinking about it. Sounds good. OK, sorry. No, nope. we need to work that out. That's the oh. biggest part. Arbor Day is all about the trees, so that's yeah. the, that's the biggest. Part. And the last one you said to wrap the tree. Is it OK if I lay a tarp down and then put the trees on it and then I take the tarp, wrap it over it and then I'll strap it down without too tight? Yeah, because if it's starting to leaf out, yeah. That stuff is so tender. Okay. And just, you know, driving 50 miles an hour, the wind whipping it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's just the tarp mm -hmm. would be good. Yep. Okay. So the next part of it is tables and pop ups. Um, probably going to need, I can't fit that stuff in my Jeep. So either I might have to get a rig or if someone wants to come help me pick those up on Saturday or pick it up earlier. Um, I don't want to leave them out there, so yeah. probably picking them up on Saturday before we head out there would probably be best. Um, and that, how many do you think we need? I don't know. I don't know what all we have. So we got some trees <clears throat> and some and brochures, some, right? Yeah, so I'm thinking actually one table on pop up in case it rains just for the handouts, you know, the goodie bag that you sent, okay. um, tree information, tree brochures. And you know, the trees that I have them so they can just sit outside, no problem. But it's probably one shelter area for any mm -hmm. handouts. Maybe one other pop up just for like the presentation. So if you're standing yeah. out there, if it's yeah. pouring, then you guys have something to stand up under. Yeah. Uh, the weather looks great. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I think we're you never know though. Down. This last couple weeks, <laughs> so, <laughs> every five minutes. So did. Kristen, mail the Tree City USA box with the goodies to you. All we got is um, stickers for the signs. For the signs, okay. That's so well stickers and then the little leaf that I stick up on the little on plaques. The plaque. Okay. Yeah. We had a I got. banner. Before. So I have the banner okay. in the box that Angela gave me. So Do you know how big it is? It's pretty large. It's long. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's got grommets. Um, so I think last time, we can last it. time I had this tree trunk of a man Dave helped me and we held it up yeah and uh, maybe this year I'll bring a couple pickets with some bungees and be able to put it up beforehand that would be good that as long as I talk to you before I put the pickets in so I don't take out a water line yeah yeah I imagine you'll be there so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll be honest, I haven't been out there yet, and so I don't know where we're setting up. It, I guess it'll depend on where the trees are going to go of where we'll set up. So we'll probably set up somewhere near. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we could use the slab. Yeah. I was thinking we would do it down on that end. So if people were standing in the street, they weren't standing in the street on the other end where there's traffic. Yeah, yeah, we could use the slab as, and then stay off the grass a little bit more. What time should we be there for setup? The event starts at the one. The event starts at one. So you have to think we're going to be setting up tables, pop ups, picking up trees and moving trees over. So it's up to you guys how. I was thinking 10 o'clock. That's three hours before the event. Set up a pop up and a table and set the trees out and pick up the other ones and move them, providing. Depending on what I learned today for the size. That. Three hours, plenty of time. That's probably much. That's, That's just when I plan on being there. Maybe. Oh, they'll probably be there at least two hours later. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say. 
going to say maybe 11. Okay. Go ahead. I'll be there at 10. Okay. <laughs> so the other thing is that um, we're going to need to put dirt back in the holes. So we're going to, and we'll see about getting, <laughs> Greg says we have a bunch of gold shovels. Um, but if you have shovels, bring shovels because um, we're going to have to try to, and we'll discuss a little bit about, because obviously we don't want a whole bunch of machinery on the grass if it's yeah. going to be that muddy. So we may be doing some of this by hand. So just yep. be prepared to work a little bit um, if you guys don't mind. Um, I have we can get that really done. good dirt diggers. Okay. Yeah. Them to work all day long. <clears throat> um, the other thing, I was going to put flyers up in town. This is all I can get to print. Oh, you should just, uh, we can print some today. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it won't print the stuff that it shows me on the page. Yeah, after the, after the meeting, I'll go. I actually have a full one sitting right behind my desk, so okay. I'll just go make you copies of it. Yeah, if I had like 20 of them, I think I was okay. just going to go put those up in stores and stuff because places I think people will go and see it. Okay, yeah, I'll print you some before okay. you leave. Can we do one more thing? Can um, just a thank you little, you know, banner for um, CTC and Lynn Oregon Small Woodlands for donating the trees for the giveaway. And I can just put that on the table. I mean, I can make so one. CTC and who? Uh, Lynn County, Lynn Oregon Small Woodlands Association. What was I saying? Sorry. Lynn Small Woodlands Association. Association. Okay. <clears throat> I'll talk to Legia. Yeah, you know, just something maybe, you know, it could be an eight and a half by 10, but maybe laminated in case it's wet. Okay. I could print paper, but it, it just okay. Disappear in the way. I'll also have her, you know, put it on the social media, yeah, telling them thanks that. too. So, because I've got um, oh, trees, I've got a dozen Douglas spurs, half a dozen valley pines, and I'm gonna go through them. There's probably twelve or fifteen. They're called golden rain trees, not to be confused with the golden chain shrub. Um, they're actually pretty neat trees. Uh, and I Golden don't, what? Rain. Golden rain trees. And I don't know. I I don't think I've seen any in town. I'm gonna have to look. They have they have chains of yellow flowers. Oh. And then they develop a seed pod that looks like little lanterns. Originated in Japan, that area. Um, they're actually when I look up the specs, they're actually a really good urban tree. Hmm. They're a nice shade tree. You know, not too big. Right. Um. Right now they're just in one gallon pots and they're pretty spindly, but they're starting to leaf out, but they were free. Yeah. So um, I might hold back a couple of the biggest and pot them up bigger. They actually might be really pretty trees to put in Ashbrook once you guys, have you taken out that cherry yet? Yeah. Can you... Yeah, the red oak or the, or, the big maple yeah, oh, yeah. the front and then the tree in the back. Yeah. Also... Yeah. Planning on grinding, grinding the stumps. So anyway, they're they're neat. I like I said, I haven't I haven't seen them before. Okay, so just to recap, um, Wally, in Public Works, you guys will work out the getting the trees and digging the trees and the holes. Um, yeah, we'll get one table and two pop ups, and I'll figure out how to get them there. Um, and then um, I'm going to drive my truck there anyway. Yeah, but you're going to have trees, though. It's so. not in the truck. Oh. Back okay. of the truck will be empty besides my lawn chair and two mm -hmm. shovels. Okay. So maybe I can figure out how to meet you and we can... Do that Friday. Yeah. 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 Just let me know. Um, and then Wally's going to be the early bird, but everybody else needs to be there no later than 11. Got it. Bring your tools. Um, anything else? When the meeting's over... I know there's another box around here that has a lot more brochures on tree planting. Yes, and I know where that. Do you know where it is? Yes, I, I think was, so. <laughs> that's specifically what I was looking for is some tree planting information. I think I know where it is. Okay, so let's look after. Okay. So the mayor is on mm -hmm. vacation that day, so I guess we'll be um, making the presentation to the city and the residents of Sweet Home. 
is uh, our Park and Tree Committee representative going to be available for that day? <laughs> yes, I will be there. Okay, so you will have a city councilor there too. Yeah, yeah. Also. <laughs> Got your proclamation. We also have, you know, the governor did a proclamation for April to be Arbor Month. That's yeah. pretty cool. That was at the urging of the Department of Forestry. And then this is forestry. No, forestry. And this is our 35th year, yep. 2021. Yeah. So that's huge. So yep. I printed yeah. all that out. Appreciate it. Thank you. So <laughs> Whoever's reading them. Got it. But 35 years. I think we're in the I think we're in the top 12 or so of the state because there's not that many. Sun River, I think, is the <laughs> oldest, but we're up there. Yeah. Which is I, pretty cool. I want to put the trees that are available and this on the events, sweet home events Facebook page. Okay. So that's why I was writing okay. down what was available, and I'm only going to say 12 of the golden. Let's things. do that because I'll go through them and make yeah. sure they're. I mean, easy. if there's more, that's okay, but yeah. at least I'm not less than. Yep. Try to motivate some folks to come out. Okay. So. And if you want, um, we can send that to Legia and she can add that to it. Oh, the. The trees. Mm -hmm. I'll just put it in there because okay. it, it says on the flyer that there's free trees while supplies mm -hmm. last. So okay. But try to motivate some folks on there. And At I, least that's all the people that complain about the parks are on there constantly. So maybe <laughs> they'll come out. And, <laughs> yeah. I will make up little information cards for the the fur and the golden rain and the pine, just what they are and how big they get. Okay. I'll, I'll make those up. No problem. Okay, cool. I think we're set for Arbor Day. Move on to Ashbrook Park. Oh, okay, we cut two trees down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we've started mowing. <laughs> yeah. Next. And that sounds like we might have a couple trees to replace those with, maybe. I think so. Um, Dominic's going to not like them right now because they're tall, spindly sticks. But if I could grow them this summer, maybe we plant them next fall. We'll see. And if they don't work out, then then we can purchase heftier trees. But. What's the white stuff they put on trees, on the bottom of trees to keep deer from eating? It's it? Is it just is paint? It wrap or is it paint? paint. Yeah, paint. it's just paint. For sun's scout. Sun scaled. Oh, it doesn't keep the deer from eating it. I don't think so. <laughs> what no. keeps a deer from eating yeah. it? Oh, maybe some arsenic lace paint. <laughs> <Right. laughs> okay. Actually, they make a deer repellent spray. Oh, I know. I use it as well to keep arrow. them off my maple trees. <laughs> yeah. It's an arrow. Yeah. That's an arrow. I got one of those. Too. You can wrap them <laughs> too. The Sometimes that yeah. deters yeah. the deer. But. I just thought I'd ask. I got a tree they destroyed again, so mm -hmm. it's like should have done something. Ooh, no, paint is more for sun scald. Yeah, I think I've wrapped them with that. Um, they're like plastic. Yeah, things too. Too. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to sidetrack it. <laughs> okay, we've covered Ashbrook, Weddell Bridge, and just for uh, a record, I told my son how disgusted it looked to me. And he actually went there with the forestry group. They went over there for something else. And even my 17 year old son came back and said, wow, you're right. It's being destroyed. Yeah. I went, yeah, it's nuts. I don't know what they're doing or anything, but it seems to be a little bit. I don't know since we've taken down the homeless camp. I think we had a little bit other battles going on, but um, we haven't really made any progress. We're we, we've talked about doing some painting. We've talked about some upgrading some boards and we talked about inspection. We only have five thousand um, dollars. And so I haven't I haven't picked up anything from where we left off last month. So 
Um, we've got a lot of other things going on. We have the camp. We're starting the new easement for the camp and fencing today. Um, water line and the road going from 24th behind is starting. So we've got quite a bit of stuff and we're finalizing phase one of the wastewater plant. So busy um we're, we are real busy so but i i will keep it on here and we'll keep progress going so so one thing though that internally we talked about the other day was possibly creating a work day um that the park and tree committee would head up um we would kind of put a notice out to the public and have a painting day yes and actually paint the bridge you know maybe sometime this summer once it dries out so we talked about this that this might be a good workday activity for the park and tree committee and then we reach out to the public so um, just to put that in your thoughts and maybe we can come up with a good time to maybe do that and advertise it obviously we will have to get the supplies and get everything figured out but um we just, could take on the supplies yeah paint. Just something to throw out to you guys is an idea that we all discussed at a possible work day this year angela we'd have to prep the bridge first before we painted it would we that's Oh. Yeah, Public Works would be able to get all that done before we did that. So, and what I'm think, thinking in my mind is we just do the white, have everybody paint white, and when we're done, we'll come back and clean up the floor and paint the floor and kind of tidy it up a little bit. Can we get by with just a power wash to prep it, or probably it's pretty yeah in some places yeah. Oh. So. Theoretically, it sounds like from the budget, we might have had some funding left over for some available funding this year. Could we apply that, some of that towards the bridge? Yeah, so if you look, and it's just in the Weddell Bridge Fund. And yeah. It was adopted this year. Then and it was adopted last year, Brandon's not here, but if you look on the yeah. back page. Right. There's $5,018. Yeah. Right. So that's our funds to do what we can with that bridge. Yeah. So we can use it this year, we can use it next year. It's there for us to use on Weddell Bridge. All I was saying was, is if we have funding left over in the park's budget that we haven't applied towards something, could we get the engineering firm? Could we go ahead and coordinate that? You said you're gonna have an engineering firm come in and look at the bridge to see what needed to be done. I, we can. I'm concerned that a full inspection of that is probably might cost and a report is going to cost more than five grand. And I'll I'll talk with Blair a little bit more. Yeah, that's why that. I wondered if we can't move some money to do that. Because until you know what you you need to do, you can't make any plans. And and I'm sure we can just dis discuss with Brandon the potential of using some of the 170. It's just that you've kind of committed that to dog parks and other things. So yeah. And I'm sure that would probably be where the funding would come. Let's, let's talk after this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I just throwing it out there. Just a what if. Well, right now you got five grand, eighteen dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you have, and I think that'll cover a lot of paint. I think that could do a, um, a major facelift, but it's not going to handle the rot unless we replace those boards. Okay. So. Sankey Park stage. I think at this point we're just, you know, we talked about me leaving this on the, the yeah. schedule. You know, we obviously need to at some point start coming up with actual design ideas of what um, you all would like to see, and then eventually we're going to have to pose it. I'm assuming we need to pose it to the public. Um, just, mm -hmm. you know, come up with that process of how we're going to decide what the. Uh, um, bridge is going to look like because eventually we're going to have to come up with costs for it. So, right. so I'm leaving it on the agenda just so we keep that in the back of our heads. And uh, so, do we make a subcommittee of our group and maybe uh, some right. folks that know maintenance on stuff like that and installation to take a look at what the options are and get something moving for the stage. Seems to yeah. me that the, the bandstand, right? Yeah. There's, yeah. There's there's lots of possibilities when it comes to what kind of structure could replace yeah. the previous bandstand. I think the main thing that uh, any experts are going to need to know is what size and where are you, where is it facing? What 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 are the what are the you know, the parameters that you would want to set for yeah. that structure? Um, 
And so I think that's one thing that we're not necessarily clear on. Are we looking for just a replacement, something around the same size? Is there a way to make it more functional? Um, what are what 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 is ult the ultimate goal for this structure? And I mean, I have thoughts on that, but I don't want to drive the conversation. Um, wouldn't that I, wouldn't that be good for a subcommittee group with some folks to just go to the park and stand there with a tape measure and talk about the future, where things go, lighting, wind, sunrise, sunset, where you could stand there and look at it and talk about all that. You know where power is at, and then make a decision off size. And you're not gonna. I don't. Yeah. I don't think you can do it effectively in a room. I think you need to go to the place and stand there and look at it and talk about it, and then come back to the room and def and define what it looks like. I think that's certainly an option. I, I think staff would be happy to meet with whatever members of the committee would like to do that. Well, and, and also I just had been talking with Joe Grable because we've walked that site multiple times to get. A feel for size and I just sent him I don't know two or three weeks ago I think he was going to forward yeah. to you yeah. and a company in Estacada that builds these big wooden structures and uh, so I passed that along it's kind of that wooden look trusses mm -hmm. and things um, you know as far as that I'd be ha I'd be glad to go to Estacada and take a look at this what this company does and bring that information back to this group with some numbers at least to just starting point on some of this stuff i know we looked at the other one i think it was in roseburg yeah it was another company that you had looked at uh, so some of that's gathering some data i think we could do that uh, i think it got it goes back to the weddell bridge too i think it's going to be something that a, a group of us going to have together and talk about weddell bridge separate from this group in order to get that moving because i just worry about the lifespan materials uh, we removed a wooden structure I, yeah I want to be careful about replacing it with a wooden structure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, think how long that one sat there and it wasn't even treated. And that was what from the 30s or 30, 1938 or something. It'd been there a long time, but there was no plan in place to keep, maintain it. Kind of like the bridge, same thing. You know, we put a bridge there and unfortunately it's fell in pretty good disrepair. So having that plan in place is important. But I agree with what you're saying. Wooden structure, steel combination, concrete. I think we could come up with some pretty nice. But. I just know that there was a talk about using the hillside as the bleachers. There's also talk about having it. You could go either direction. Um, I don't think you can figure it out until you go stand there and put a footprint down and go, this is where we would like to see it at. Well, are there two or three of you that would like to join staff at the park sometime to, yeah. to do that? Yes, I mean, sure. I'd do it. If I may, I'll use the proper way to, to do this, not just blurt out things. I would be happy to go with Bob, Mr. Dalton, oh. to Estacada. Okay. Uh, I'll even buy him lunch. Oh, hey, good. Uh, Hi. You're getting McDonald's. McDonald's. Is golf uh, and, and I would be, and I would be okay with here. going and helping you measure too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. We'll figure it out. But we did have some pictures and some that they you guys threw out there one time about. I remember pictures of the. Uh, just they, some yeah, they were just we, we had we get cataloged all the time. So yeah. those were just the catalogs of the stuff. And just to start piquing everybody's interest in what they wanted to look at, those weren't necessarily what we should go with. It was just to kind of for everybody to start Reference. thinking about it and what we want it to look like. And um, and now it's kind of the task of actually figuring that out from, you know, the samples that I found. And I know Wally's looked at some and, you mm -hmm. know, obviously Bob's looked at some. Yeah, just getting that figured out. Um, okay, so if you guys want to do a day out at the park, um, do you want to arrange that within yourselves or let me know how you want to do it? And then I can send an invite out to everybody so that everybody knows when, where, how do you guys want to do that? I'm, I'm working on that right now. So okay, I think it's I'll join you too. You too. OK, okay. <clears throat> just follow. So we don't want a quorum, right? No. Um, so that limits us to three. Three. Three from so us, from right? the committee. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody want wants to go. To go. <laughs> <laughs> so you three. Let me know, and I'll just show up and wander so. around and look at trees. <laughs> <laughs> 
check there, there. Isn't there seven of you? <clears throat> we have one. Six. We have one open. Yeah, there's, there's six of them. Yeah. Okay, so does it, so my question would be, beans are seven, really? Is a quorum then four? We uh, even without the seventh person. <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble here, but I, I know yeah. that a quorum's four. So so it, three is good. No, yeah, I think so. But yeah, it's not an official meeting. It's right. a work day. Yeah, a, I mean, if you day. if you all yeah. want to go, we could do that. We would just we have just, to notice. We it just have to meeting. notice it and that's it. You know, and that's and, and make no decision. Well, frankly, if you have a quorum and a notice meeting, you can make decisions. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you can. Um, so we can I can do a notice just like I do, just like I do for this. Notice it out on there and then yeah. you all can go there. So I guess that's the thing is if if all of you want to go, you know, fine, we can arrange that. That's, we don't need. We don't want to stand in the way of. Oh, of, of yeah. Yeah. Like well, you only have to notification seven days. Is that right? Yeah, I need yeah. to have it out like the week so before. So a week. You guys so if we did something two or three weeks from now, mm -hmm. right. we would be fine. Sure. Yeah, just let me know the time, um, the date, and the time, and then I can get the notice just um, figured out. Okay. And I'll work on that. Um, I definitely. Yeah. I know I want because Dominic. Is the guy that's got to take a look at maintaining it. So to be there and say, no, we can't do that because this is here or that's there. Or... <laughs> yeah, another meeting. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a walk in the park. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so. Uh, Okay, so Wally, you get, you'll send me a date and a time, and yep. then I'll get that noticed. Okay. All right. All right I'm gonna start right. In. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll guarantee one. Okay. The uh, Dahlenberg Bridge. Bridge. Happen. No update yet. Okay. We are still planning on moving it though. I think that's the discussion. Um, yeah, at some point, but I think we're gonna have to wait till the weather gets better. We yeah. can get the right equipment. It's gonna be have to bring a trailer in, so we're gonna have to wait till it's a lot drier. So I right. would imagine July, June, yeah. July, August. If, but that's there's a lot of details still to be worked out. Yeah. So, I uh, just for reference, like a knucklehead, I the other day I drove back and forth. <laughs> Run here, thinking about where if it sat somewhere, where could I see it? It was just, I know people had to wonder what is this guy doing. I must have drove back and forth five or six times. Um, if it sit back, if it sat back in to where I, in my mind, it was sitting where we kind of talked about if it was over a a stream area, you can definitely see it coming, you know, going east and coming west. I was surprised how early I could pick it out. So I don't. Later at the, at the end of the day, I didn't have a problem with moving it inward. You know, it does give more of a presentation in the front, but it if it was tied in with an entire park structure there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I drove by. I, I drove by from the east, and I I was coming from the east, and it was too late when I so I turned around and I drove back, and then I wasn't sure, so I just kept doing it until I felt like, okay, I think I've done this enough, and I because I went from the different lanes to see where I would pick it out at. Now the that is some dedicated research. Yes. Yeah. Now the tourist that's driving down the road, is he going to be looking for it like you were looking for it? No, no, that's what I was just trying to say. When I was just trying to figure out when's it visible. You know, wow. where where would I be at when it would catch my eye? So that was all. I just wanted to say that it was something that you. bugged me and I wanted to look at it. The record. Yeah. It's all good. Okay, Northside Park. So we're going to. Yeah, this is just another item that um, you guys asked me to keep on the agenda because yeah. this is, you know, once the budget gets figured out, once they finalize the budget, that's what that was the focus, um, the park that we wanted to focus on this year. Mm -hmm. um, so just to keep it on the agenda, keep it on our reins, I think at this point, 
we'll have to wait to see what the budget, the final budget number is that yeah. the parks will be allowed. And then we can go from there on their list of, a, um, of things that you wanted to see get done. So. Right. So the dog park would go in there, some trails. And what was the other item? Fixing the, I I, you guys did fix the tennis court, didn't you? Yeah, it's not yeah. complete yet. Yeah. And you talked about doing some work in the racquetball court, right? We need to look at the racquetball. Yeah. Probably lighting. Mr. Chairman. Dominic, how many people use that tennis court down there? Have, Have you seen? Yeah. There's not much money that comes in off that. I was just trying to find that. I don't. I don't I'm not talking there? about that. I'm talking about the. the, the we have well. Not all of them have renewed this year, so we. For tennis. Most of the time, I no tennis. I don't know yeah. because they don't sign up for tennis. Yeah. So racquetball, I have about a dozen, but this year I've only had maybe like six families um, renew. And well, I my, don't. My question is, is. I think people don't know we have it. Yeah. I think we yeah. need to get the yeah, word out that we have a racquetball court. I think that's part of it. Is nobody knows it's there. Well, it's so. in a, it's in a pretty poor place in my opinion, but. I just wonder, I'm wondering if we need to put any money into that tennis court when we have two brand new ones at the high school. Uh, I don't know how many people, I used it before they had the tennis courts in Sweet Home. I mean, at the high school, but I, I, don't, I don't know that we can justify putting money into that thing when we don't even know if it's ever used. I know, I, I, know. I know my son and I use it. Well, you should when, be using a new one at the high school. It's the high schools. It's your high school. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just think about. Yeah. It. So I don't. I don't know. Oh, I agree. I know what you mean. If there's two brand new ones. Do you need three in town? Is there enough utilization for that? And I, I know I see the high school. Yeah. I can just see the high school getting their nose bent over something yeah. happening can, there, and then they lock it, it, and nobody can get in. They can get it whatever they want, but if they shut that down, well, so, if they shut that down, there will be some. There'll be a problem. Well, yeah. Councillor Trask, I think that it's the same issue as with the racquetball court. I think people don't know it's there. Yeah. There's there's a lot of things down there that people just don't know exist down there. So I think it's also getting the word out and maybe it'll get used more. So I, I think Mr. Springman has a comment. Yeah, I would I would suggest for this group, I would suggest that this group start thinking about we don't have a a design, a rough site plan for Northside Park. Um, I think maybe it warrants a discussion and what that looks like. We're, we're going to, we literally got two and a half months and potentially we've got $170,000 to spend. It gives us direction on what we need to do and how we need to do it and do some planning. So I think that needs over the next couple of months gets worked out. Um, so the ideas from you guys of what you want to see down there, placement of trails, the dog park, all those things that can get worked out onto a site plan will extremely help um, what we do on our site. I think also uh, these are things to keep in mind. Good questions to ask while putting while working on a parks master plan is to to put part of that plan needs to be the the public outreach component and and public surveys of what people want, what people will utilize. Now, what they say they want is not necessarily the same as what they end up actually using, but I think it's valid to say, okay, what sports do you want to play at a park? Uh, do you want to play basketball? Do you want to play tennis? Do you want to play racquetball? And um, and find out really what what people want because it could be that I mean tennis is uh, is not as popular popular as it once was, but we need to find the right way to respond to what the public wants without mm -hmm. going back and forth with between one fad and another. So we can have a gathering like we did at, at Upper Sankey. Yeah, and get opinions from. So you could do that too. Yes. But also, I think we we need to, as part of the planning process, we need to get more, you know, surveys out in utility bills and in on the city website through Facebook, et cetera, to to really get into what people want out of their parks. Good point. Okay. Stopping all fishing on the river. Is that yours? <laughs> yeah, no update. Uh, we're still finalizing phase one. Uh, we're finished 60% marching in the next two months to finish the, the plan and get it out on the street, phase one. Um, part of that is the relocation of the bathroom. 
um, that bathroom we are proposing to relocate from where it currently is to straight across mm. on the other side of the road. So it'll actually be in the park, yeah. not associated with the wastewater plant. So that's kind of where we're, it's sitting currently. Um, right now, I haven't, we've just been moving too fast in, um, it's still a consideration um, until I really figure out the logistics. And that's some of the things we're working on, the constructability of, of the plan. We can worry about the corridors, um, but this will keep us on there as discussion. Um, potentially, we still like to shut it down, but if we can maintain a corridor, then maybe we can do something like that. Um, but I think some of the engineers and the con uh, contractors um, influence on that will have something to say about that. So we're kind of just waiting for that. Okay, okay. thanks. On to new business. Um, what do we do for recognition for the major donors for Lower Sankey? So this is just something that we discussed when we first put in the grant of how we were going to recognize the people that donated toward the park. Mm -hmm. um, we've never, we've had, we've thrown some ideas around like the one, um, the donation wall at the track, you know, the football field over there. Right. Um, so if we want to do that, I mean, obviously there's going to be expense to that. So we need to figure that out and see what it's going to cost to do it. How you want to, um, you know, probably get public works involved because that's going to be whatever you decide. It's going to be a maintenance thing also. So um, that's just a discussion we need to have and when we want to implement that, how we want to do it and what we want it to look like. So. So a thought. Um, on mine, if we're going to bring the folks in that helped us, that helped provide the grant from the state, for instance, if it was on, what's it called again? Not Halloween, but you can't call that anymore. Harvest, Harvest Festival. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that might be a good time when there's a lot of people there to recognize someone. You know what I mean? As part of the Harvest Festival, to say we want to recognize the people that helped us do this and because otherwise you're not going to get that you're not going to be able to present that to people you know and make an impact when we're going to turn around and ask for money again to do upper sankey park so are you talking about just what what you're saying that's the 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 show the verbal recognition yeah. etc uh when she first brought it up i was thinking Okay, what about what's the physical item? Yeah. What what do we oh, yeah. physically build yeah. there? And and both are important discussions. Uh, so I, I think having an unveiling during an event like the Harvest Festival is great. Um, would love to do that. I, what are your thoughts regarding what form that thing takes? Uh, and where would you put it? Where in the park yeah. should it go? Initially, I would think some sort of landscaped area that um, already like an existing bed of some kind that where we already put, uh, aren't there a couple places where we already have the beautification committee already puts flowers in Sankey? No, we don't, okay. There, there's some planner. There's a, there, there, there is or was a planner area on the corner um, near the bridge, between the bridge and the parking lot, wasn't there? What about where that sign already is? That well, we've got sign. You've got the. You got the big. I mean, the doggy bags, and then it would be a third sign. The same I'm I'm talking about replacing the sign that's already there, putting something there. I don't even remember what's on that sign. It's the old white sign that's right at that north parking lot. Um, that might be a location for it. It's to the. It would be to the west of the flagpole so just and just a thought i mean there's a sign there that i don't know we use it for anything specific you know and it could be a place to you're talking the one that's glassed in i think so yeah it's tall we, and yeah. Good, yeah yeah right there by the north parking lot okay yeah it'd be just yeah. to the west of the bridge right by the parking lot and that might not be a good location. It's just if we were going to have something that's already kind well, of there, yeah, um, and just replacing it with whatever you decide right. to replace I'm it with. Trying to be respectful here. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, you know, the plaque that's out here and that thing that's hanging right there, I can't imagine that costs a lot of money uh, if that's what we were going to plan on doing. Uh, and then that could be metal, I think, and then we wouldn't have to worry about the wood flying away and all that stuff. But um, I, I can't imagine how I can get, maybe I could get somebody in there, the GA or, or somebody to look and see what that would cost. I don't know how many names are going to be on there. I have no idea. Oh, you want this? About something. So and you're talking about the in, in the vestibule, the, the big metal uh, plaque on the wall? Out here? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't I can't imagine how much that costs, but it would be something that we're we're and then just put it on a pole or a post or something and then like you're talking about to replace the other one. That's we have, just my we have to think about vandalism and how easy something like that would be. Well, if you rip it apart inside or something, I, I, yeah. I mean, it just doesn't work. So what is your other option? I don't know. That's why I'm saying um, we yeah. need to. We need to kind of look at different options. Like I haven't been to the high school for a while to see what that one looks like. That's I can't really remember. Big. Um, yeah, I don't think we need anything that big at the park. But no, no, no. And I can go through what I what I need to do probably is go through and count how many donors we had. Some of them were anonymous and don't want their names up there, but I can go and count to see how many because that'll determine what size of a um, wall or whatever we plan to do that will kind of determine it so maybe i'll take a second and count how many people are on there just so we know what that's going to look like so you know and that might be something that you want to hold until you get your new stand structure put up you know so it's in a protected location but adds to it you know if you if you have your band event stand center there you might, might a, you might have might. a second plaque that goes there for those people that buy that. Yeah, but, but that might be a good location as well. Yeah. Or even the, the area between the parking lot and the restaurant. Yeah. On the opposite side of the path from the trail. Right. And there's no history on anywhere. Or if there was an old sign that we have somewhere. So if it was something that outside had the donor. Yeah. Well, the restroom itself is an option, I guess, on the exterior wall. Yeah, I thought about that earlier. And then or I the decided. interior, we could have the Dave Trask Memorial stall. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I know Don and I, because it's after her grandfather, we were going to pay for a large plaque with him and the history. So that's that piece you're talking about. We were going to pay for that. We really envisioned that being a large sort of a stone or something near those bathrooms i think that you poured that well, there's a little corner right there to set something like that so it might be we could incorporate that right there you know have that on one side and that on the other side of it so maybe when you the restrooms i think that's a disaster well i'm just yeah. saying there was an area <laughs> in that little plaza right there where we were talking about putting that stone so when people come into sankey park they understand how sankey park evolved you know the history of it but so maybe when you guys do your meeting out there to look at the bandstand area, maybe you add that to your agenda to kind of take a look at location that you might want a donor sign slash history sign and then go from there. And in the meantime, I can figure out how many names are going to go on it. Um, so just add that to your park. Um, yeah. Walk. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm on my drive about today, maybe I'll try looking at the trees on my way back. I have to go into Albany and Corvallis, so maybe I'll stop in a couple parks and see if I see any. It's one of those things I don't pay any attention to, so I'll have to actually look for something like that. <laughs> yeah, we need good employees. Yeah. <laughs> You have two showers. <laughs> yeah. The queen work was there good, and I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next thing is the health fair booth. I got a email from the guy running the health fair, suggesting maybe we put a uh, uh, park and tree committee table. table in there, and I think it's a great idea. I'm not going to be in the country at that time, so. Lena said she thought she would be around. So if others would be 
possibly available to help man that um, to get some information out that would be great and i know everybody's sick of hearing about the harvest festival but it's also only about six weeks i think before the harvest festival it's the it's the third saturday in august yeah so it'd be six weeks before the harvest festival be a good time also to advertise what we're doing at the harvest festival at the same time with the stuff going on not too early to talk about the harvest festival because i've already started the planning oh, so yeah <laughs> so it's already started the roundabout so yeah so what were the hours again uh is it nine to two okay and we're looking right now we have so far i have about 30 30 tables already reserved for that event so um i was thinking if the park group had just a table there to promote the parks and their yeah. usages that's advertising outdoor activities so yeah be a good opportunity and we just talked about how people don't know that tennis courts exist yeah um so having some promotional materials that kind of make people aware of the recreational opportunities that yeah. are right here yep that are free yeah some good pictures of sankey and the results we got from that yeah is it august 6th or 20th, 20th. August you could even 20th. work out a way for people to check out racquetball's racquetball uh rackets from the library or something they could then use uh, do we do we have a mm. brochure that really like a trifle or something no. shows all of our parks so what we could do is um get with legia and um have her put something together um luckily we've got some time so that would give her so a little i think bit that'd of time be a to... good handout for people to know oh okay. we have all these parks and here's where they're at so. yeah Yeah. Okay, so that was a new pop up. I guess we're on to a semi circular table discussion. So, Nancy, do you want to introduce Zoe? And sure. Well, my friend, and she's a wonderful human being, and she's the president of the student body at the Sweet Home High School. And so, she had something she wanted to talk to us about. and maybe how she could get the school involved right do you want to come have a seat right here yeah it's gonna you can be she can come. sit by me i have an extra chair over here Dave. yeah we're yeah let her sit by me. okay so like nancy said i'm zoe offerman i'm student body president of the high school that's your mom right yeah, it's on. It's on. It's on. you're good it is okay um so every year the high school puts on may week and it's the first week of May, and this is going to be our 101st year for doing it. And so it's been a very long standing tradition. And one of the aspects that we focus on for May Week is community service. And so on that Friday, which is May 6th, um, from 1040 to 1140, every class in the high school will go do some community service project. And so in our leadership class right now, we are in the planning stage. So we're trying to find different projects that classes can work on um, classes, the sizes of class that will be available anywhere from 20 to 40 kids. We can also send more than one class to different projects. So a couple things that I heard you guys discussing that I think we could possibly contribute to. The first one was the beautification team. I know you said you have like a Tuesday, like the second Tuesday of May. Um, so this is the first Friday of May. So it's not the same day. But you could, I don't know, there's something we could get students involved in, at least make them aware. That's the thing, because I know that there's a lot of students who do like to work with plants. It's just not really something that anyone talks about in high school. I don't know why that's not. I think it's really cool. But <laughs> um, and then the other thing that I overheard was uh, the Weddell Bridge. Um, I know there's a lot of like vandalism and it's just really trashy down there. Um, I'm not sure what exactly we could do, but even just something like informing uh, students about like hey this is how you can help or this is what the problem is or these are the people that you can talk to if you see a problem um anything like that so really the reason that i'm presenting is i want to let you know that we have lots of classes available on may 6th to do something for an hour just to get out in the community and hoping that maybe you guys have some ideas for that okay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, we can come up. 
So how soon do you have to take that information back? Um, today? It's not necessarily today, but pretty soon because we are getting the rest of our community service projects up and as soon as we can. That's in, uh, I think it's a week and a half away. Yeah. So. I mean, public works, is there any small activities? We could definitely do a park cleanup in Sankey. I, I like the idea of beautifications needing help. Um, yeah. I like the idea of getting a mass amount of hands to help them get the planning done. And I know that's hard to coordinate, but we're already have traffic control. I think that's the biggest concern, um, having students out in controlled traffic, so. Yeah, but I think Bob could talk, talk to the committee and, and <laughs> they would probably be thrilled to have yeah. a Friday. Yeah, so. I mean, they got 20 high school I mean, students I mean, helping them plant their little, you know, I think that could I'll go a long way. And, see. Yeah. and that's one of their biggest days, I think, uh, planning, right? Than, when we do some of the work prior to that. I mean, and planning, sir. I know it's traffic controlled, but would we have any difficulty with the school district with having students out in that's the median? My question. I don't yeah. believe we'd have any problems with that because as it is, we organize different transportation because sometimes kids go like out to one of the elementary schools to like read to students or play, uh, hang out at recess. Um, and then for community service projects, we do whatever we need to. So if it's within walking distance, which it is, yeah, um, right. I don't think it'd be a problem. Let's talk about this and maybe we can reach out to the school district mm -hmm. and have a brief meeting to test the waters on that. Yeah. Yeah. Would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing all in an hour. with the beautification, they'd all have to get an orange vest. Do we have enough orange vests? Um, I know I don't. Most of you have a safety new. I wouldn't do. If that's the conversation that I think Blair and I need to have outside of this. It would be like hurting cats a little bit of structure. <laughs> they had some people out there that could help with this. Uh, we're in on Highway 20 with log trucks, so mm -hmm. um, although it would be extremely helpful, I think it needs to be talked to a little bit. Well, and I, I mean, does it have to be 20 children? I mean, or 20 kids? Can it be a smaller group? It can be a smaller group. Because right. the general class size is about 20. There right. are smaller yeah, because I think the visibility of having the young people of our community working in a median strip is good PR oh, yeah. for this city. Yeah. It shows a commitment and ownership to the town of Sweet Home. That's what I would see if I was. Right. I would also right. just a uh, me. I would myself. I know and my wife would do the same thing and we have our own vests. Um, we would come down and help herd cats. I mean, I think if we had a committee group yep. to help provide some overwatch and security during that, you know, time frame to make sure people can get through without a problem. And I want to make sure the students are aware when we say herding cats, we just mean volunteers in general of yeah. any age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are these are the would the groups be um, mixed? Uh, ages of in the high school, or would they be seniors, freshmen? Uh, but it is a lot of times freshmen are in their own classes, sophomores are in their own classes, up to like juniors and seniors. There's a lot of different yeah. ages. Because I think that if it's a big if, but if we're able to do anything in the median, it, we one thing we'd probably be looking at is limiting maybe seniors only since they're right. about to graduate. Right. Uh, nearly adults, that kind of thing, but we'd we'd have to look at it and make sure that liability-wise, we'd be in good shape. Yeah, I would suggest either just seniors or seniors and juniors. Freshmen out there in the highway. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, and, may, and maybe the committee could do um, Plan A and Plan B, so they know that right. they would have a task with the city and if they can't do the median then what's plan b so that way they have a task and they know they can go back to the committee and say well right now this is what we're focusing on but if we're not going to be allowed to do this for liability then this is our this is our second place um, so something else option. that we've done in the past 
at the park with the Boy Scouts is we've done park cleanup. And it's only an hour. I mean, it, I don't know what I don't know what, uh, you know, what. What would be available? I'm not right way of saying, but what would be on the ground in Sankey area? So as a up? as a backup, and I think we've talked about this, probably the easiest is that our staff goes out and does some tree limbing in the spring, makes piles, and then the, the group comes out and then helps load. I think that's what you've done in the past, right? Yeah, in the past we've done that a few times. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, to go pick all that up, get it into a dump truck. Is this the same thing you guys do in the And they're on Highway 20 doing that. Yeah. And teachers are there too, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah. So you might not have as big an issue doing it as you think you might have, which you could have, obviously. Yeah. But well, I absolutely agree. Having those high school kids on that, whatever they're doing, Main Street is a good thing. Why the publicity? The beautification has planners all through town that are off. Yeah. That aren't in yeah. the middle of the road. Um, we could do things like bring bark to a to a park, and they can put the bark out. Um, we've got a couple places that are ready for that. I haven't I haven't been reached out by any of the teachers. Usually they'll they'll contact and see, tell me how many kids at what time. Or, yeah, that's why Zoe's here. Yeah. So maybe what we can do is I'll get Zoe's contact information. Um, you guys can kind of figure out what the liability is maybe in the next couple days we can make a definite decision on what kind of task and then i can get a hold of her and say okay this is this is what we can do with you guys and then we can make a plan from there and then i'll have her just coordinate from there does that work and then she won't have 50 different people that she has to yeah, talk to yeah. about it okay. and i i second what dave said if there's a way to do the it's an hour on Highway 20 planting trees. And I would put my 13 year old out there to run it, who's only an eighth grader. I mean, I got a feeling that kids in high school can stand along the side of a road putting flowers in a hole for a few minutes without getting run over by a car. It's just, I can't see that being a big deal. That's just me personally, but. And I've met a lot of high school kids since I have one yeah. and it's another not one. The people doing the work. Yeah, right. It's people driving. It's exactly. Your back. Yeah, that's what the rest of us would be for to observe that to make sure that we're safe. So, and I don't think we've had an incident where anybody drove through the cones and wiped people out, have we? We've had people run through the whole time. Yeah. I meant while they're planting. Guys on the, on the truck hanging a banner. Oh. I, I take it pretty serious. It's that's what I mean. It sounds like there's more than I know, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah. People yeah. are so distracted. There's food. Yeah. There's so you know, and then you put cones and all the people for a couple of right. blocks. It just there's too much for people, and sometimes people just don't care. And if Taco Bell's being demoed or that site, then. <laughs> That works going on, right? Because they move the words. I think you just put a truck at the leading edge. Have you seen the signs, the speed limit signs in town? Oh, yeah. Those yeah, are so wonderful. That project, the ADA ramp. Yeah. So, can we reasonably maybe come up with an idea by Friday? And then I can show you. Yeah. Have it by Friday. OK, There's well, Zoe. we're getting we're getting into small group discussions, which we can't do because we're recording. Yeah. So let's. Uh, yeah. Angela, we'll get with Zoe. We can feed Angela information. Blair and Greg can work out the uh, legalities. And, and I'll get with the beautification today. I, there were some projects they canceled like weeding and cleaning right. areas in different parts instead yeah. of Maine, and that may be the other options that they could have. So. I love it. Bottom line, we've got smart. Yeah. So any others? Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Zoe, thank you very much for coming to our meeting. Thank you, Zoe.
OK, any other items as we close out? Yep. I know it's a long meeting. It's like, what? Anyway, I had sent you guys the email, Wally and Blair and Angela, regarding the um, the adding to the money for the parks through our water. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I noticed it wasn't on the agenda, but I had mentioned it to you guys. And you said we'd talk about it. So anyway, because we've been paying money for a long time. And I know it hasn't been, you know, did you guys know that on your water bill? You can pay to the parks board or the pool. Yeah, you can donate. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, did you know that? <laughs> so I think I would really think that we need to encourage our public to do this again. We have a lot of new people coming, moving into town. You know, maybe some people, I, I actually talk to people all the time in my store wanting to know what they can do. I try to send them different directions, but, you know, because last time, um, you know, Brandon acted like we didn't have any money to spend, and so said, so should we start collecting pop bottles? But if we could at least start putting, you know, this out to the public and say, we have this, you know, my husband and I are going to increase what we give. I think we only do $10 a month, but, you know, get 100 people doing that, it's a lot of money. I'd like Not to a talk lot to of Brandon money, also, because I wonder if... Uh... You know, I'm a little OCD, so I like round numbers and uh, and, you know, sometimes places will round up your 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 charge to the nearest yeah. dollar or five dollars mm -hmm. or something like that. And I wonder if we could do that with uh, utilities and have that be counted as a donation. They, if you want to round up can do I that. Just, I just, you know, because I kind of forgot about it. And then my husband, he pays the bills and I was looking at the water bill <laughs> and I thought, oh, I forgot about that. So yeah, we've been doing it for a long time. Is that and something that is automatically, you say, I want to do it, mm -hmm. and then it's added into your water bill each month? Or do you we, have to I each month? I think we did it way back it. when Carol was, had your position or something. Long, we've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. You know, this lends to that same discussion, you know, as we build more parks that we're going to have to maintain these. And yeah. We don't have adequate funding where we are solely dependent upon the general fund. And that is a very vulnerable fund. And I think it could be to the advantage of the city. Of course, any fees or any increases are obviously difficult for the community and council, but I think it maybe warrants with the direction that we're going that we at some point look at some sort of park fee. I think, you know, people, it, the way you would advertise, you know, it's exciting, you know, what's going on, what we're doing, da da da, and, you know, and be part of it. I think we can put together some promotional materials on that, uh, especially through social media to essentially let people know that the opportunity is there. But I think you can, you know, start it by celebrating improvements at Sankey Park and talk a little bit about how much those cost and um, and then say, hey, do you have an opportunity to donate a, additional funds? And and at the same time, try to spread that out to people who live outside city limits because there's plenty of people who live just outside city limits that use the parks but don't actually pay for them through their property taxes and make them aware of, hey, these things cost money and you're not putting anything in, uh, in, a, in a friendly, nice way, right. you know, uh, so that we can at least get the conversation going. Because I think there are a lot of giving people who want to, who want to make contributions. And not everybody's on social media, and there's a lot of elderly people out there that would like to contribute to. So that's something simply in the in our presentation as we're closing out for the Arbor Day thing, we could add to that and just mention the fact that you could do that. And it would be the same at the have that information at the health fair mm -hmm. and then at different events, just so that people know, hey, if you want to help donate to this so we can have more of this type of stuff, this would help. Mm -hmm. Okay, any others? Twice and 10 o'clock, meeting adjourned. Good job. Yeah, there's. Uh, I'm going to go look I'm for that box fire. real quick and then. Oh, can I can help? Yeah, yeah, one other thing I was thinking, yeah. you know, I mean, obviously. Oh, kind of the connection to the outdoors parks being a right. exercise. Like, and then you could throw in and all the, I just gotta the stuff the about. Trees. Yep. Cooler temperature.